The bridge is a little bit over 400 meters long and it's on a 6% grade going from the west abutment to the east abutment. It is up almost 90 meters high. The job has been going well. Uh, we are at a significant milestone. Four of the five piers are now complete with the fifth one nearing completion. The cold weather has been affecting us here in Golden for the last few weeks. Temperatures are monitored and checked with a laser gun. We weren't only allowed to pour if we can get our steel temperature to negative 5 degrees below Celsius, and the concrete temperature must come in at plus 12. Each pour consists of about 55 cubic meters and about 15 tons of rebar. We use a vibrator to make sure the concrete is evenly mixed. It brings the liquid to the surface to create a smooth finish and to get all the air bubbles out. Total today, we've poured approximately 4,000 cubic meters for all five piers. Road construction continues to be ongoing, although we are seeing the near completion uh, of the road grade work. Well over 2 million cubic meters of materials being drilled, called, blasted, excavated, and put in place to date. One of the unique features of the bridge is the fact that it will be incrementally launched on a horizontal curve. The first pair of girders gets assembled and bolted together and all the connections get made and it gets pushed across in a span. We've had an inordinate amount of snowfall this year. In order to ensure that there isn't material and debris that falls off of these girders, uh, there's an ongoing process that they have to maintain and, and keep clean. We have to first hydraulically jack the bridge up, remove all our temporary wooden blocking, and we will come down then on our helm and rollers. The launch cycle launches the bridge in 1.5 meter increments. It is a total of five minutes in duration. There's a number of steps to move the bridge forward. There's a clamp that will clamp onto the bridge, and then a cylinder that will move the bridge forward. And then we apply a brake, and then unclamp, pull the cylinder back, and go through this process again and again. The confirmed automation system provides the automatic control to the hydraulic plant and to the launch frame and the cylinders and monitors the entire operation as the bridge moves forward. Top and bottom lateral bracing were incorporated uh, in order to stiffen the structure and to make it behave more like uh, a box top which is much more rigidly stiff for torsion. By using the guide rollers and the fixed width of the bottom flange, the bridge, when it's launched, it can be steered in its horizontal alignment to the proper location.